All right, so our next question has to do with, uh, will an inheritance to my disabled daughter on SSI and Medicaid jeopardize her benefits? So what this is talking about is you, let's say your daughter has uh, a disability and she's drawing the SSI. So not social security disability income, but the supplemental security income. And that is what is called a means-based or means-tested benefit. So you have to meet certain requirements on income and assets to qualify. And same thing with Medicaid. So what do you do, though, if your daughter is, I think in this question, it was uh, receiving an inheritance. So maybe a grandparent, an aunt, an uncle, somebody is leaving money to your daughter who's on SSI and on Medicaid, is that going to jeopardize her benefits? Well, the answer is probably it will, because normally on those benefits, your daughter can only have $2,000 in assets. So unless it's a very small inheritance, that's going to push her over that $2,000 limit, and then that's going to be a problem as far as uh, staying qualified for SSI, staying qualified for Medicaid. And that may be incredibly important to keep those benefits. So what do we do? Well, typically what we do is we set up what's called a special needs trust. It's just imagine a box and we put that inheritance into the box. And so that way it's not considered your daughter's money. It's owned by that special needs trust or that box. And then there are very specific rules for how we reach into that box and pull out money to benefit your daughter. So normally we cannot replace benefits that are already provided by say SSI or Medicaid, but we can do things to supplement. So for example, maybe um, eyeglasses are not covered or maybe certain dental work is not covered uh, by these government benefits. Well, we may be able to then reach into that box, pull out money to take care of that. So again, very specific rules on this, but just to answer this, hopefully quickly here, uh, yes, an inheritance or other money going to your daughter who's on SSI and Medicaid uh, can very well jeopardize those benefits. So you wanna sit down with a lawyer find out does it make sense to do a special needs trust? And if it does, how do we do that process?